um, two year old cocks into the boxes, three of them, the rest of them are yearlings this time, who was born this year, 2021, and they've been in the boxes for a few weeks now to choose a box. fighting going on now to introduce the three older males. This is the Widowwood team for 2022. 12 males, raised on the traditional Widowwood system. So uh, there's a two year old cock in the bottom centre box. He's actually in the, in the wrong box so he's doing a bit of bullying at the minute. But the young cock is having a go. bullying the younger males well, up to now not too bad that's actually a son of staff my number one breeding cock so, well, within the last five minutes i've opened the three boxes that have been closed and straight away cock in the top center box now we know he's so now he's okay, he's gone back to his box. Obviously the younger cocks have already picked a box and then boxes have been shut off. So it, it, it just reduces the fighting by closing the older cock boxes off before you re-enter them into the loft. When you're putting yearlings or young cocks in the boxes for this year, next year. There's only one cock at the minute who's um, in the wrong box and that's him in the bottom middle box, a two year old male. This cock, I remember him from last year, some of the number one cock. Well, fair play, that young cock there, he just stood his ground and threw that two year old cock out of his box. He's been in there for three weeks and that's a young cock from 2021. He's standing his ground for that box like to see when I introduce the older males. A little bit of aggression. He's not timid, he's not frightened, he's not scared of them two year old cocks. He's been in there for a few weeks. And this cock, the, the two year old, that's, that's his box underneath him. He keeps trying to go up there. But fair play to this young male, he keeps kicking him out. That is um, part and parcel of the settling the cocks before you pair them up into the, for the coming season. The young cocks are just finishing the malt. We've got one or two flights to go. But these two year old cocks, like him in the top centre, he's on his last flight, growing up his last flight, same as the two year old cock there. Well, he's growing his last flight, so they're in fine condition. And at the minute, he's sat in the uh, his wrong box. This is his box next door. So I'm waiting for this young male to come and take that box back because he's been in it for three weeks. So really, this is what I look for. I look for the aggression in the younger males to stand the ground with these older males. Widowwood team, I've only race 12 boxes. And the, um, if I lose one, the box just gets closed off. I don't replace it with any more. I start the season with 12 and I'll finish the season with whatever's there. So there'll be no adding boxes if I lose, unfortunately, to lose one of these males. I don't believe in that. Actually, um, 
The young cox there. He, the one that just flew up there. He's uh, sticking to his box. He's not letting any of them older males come in. see the uh, two year old on the floor looking up to try and challenge one of these young cocks maybe for a different box but we'll see no he's gone back into his old box but he has a tendency to go to the box above him that male um, like i say the young cock above him he's no slouch he'll stand his ground so well, this is the two year old also with his last growing up his last flight now so I've reintroduced him to the nest boxes before the flight actually grown just in case they're fighting because I don't want any damage to that last flight so just as it starts to grow I put them back in the boxes with these younger males now and obviously any fighting which we're going to get a bit of fighting over the next couple of days everybody does I just find by closing the old cock boxes and reintroducing it, putting the males in, the young males that you want to raise as yearlings into the boxes for a few weeks first, then it just makes it that little bit easier. Um, and a good cock always stays in his box. I've been two year old there, been no trouble up to now. He's gone straight back to his old box after I've opened it up. Obviously, the young cocks, that box has been closed, so they've not been in that box. And um, that young cock, the two year old cock, sorry, in the top box, there, been a clever pigeon with a clever yearling. Well, well, he was the best yearling last year. And he's a son from staff, my number one breeder. So he knows that's his box, and he won't let one of them young cocks go in it. He has been, when he first came, he went to the top right box and had a fight with 54. But 54 stood his ground. That's a young cock that's won me a first prize this year. In the top right hand box there. Like I say, the young cocks have still got one or two flights to go. And I expect them to um, be gone in the next few weeks and regrow. Oh, he's gone straight back up there now that's his box nothing's going to go in there the young cock no well, this is the start now of preparing for the 2022 breeding and racing season the only thing i've done this year differently is the check cock there he's actually a brother to two of the two-year-old blue cocks that i've just put back in from the number one breeder he was only a late bred this year and he's gone to his father's old box when I raced his father in that box for two years this young cock a late bred he's not had a race so I'm taking a chance with him a lot of people don't like to race, race late, late breds this, that young cock there was born in June it wasn't weaned till July so he's not had a race but he's been very forward there you go look it, and he's the stubble of his father and he's just uh, knocked a cock out of the box there he took the pick the box took the box very fast mature in kicking these uh, Van Bell sprinters so I, I have no question about him going down in December or January when I put an head in he'll go down straight away because that's the character of the pigeons very fast very fast start going forward so even though he's only young they weaned in July, August, September, October, it's only four months old. He's uh, picked a box and he's not letting any other cock in it. So that's a good sign. I've got two there that I'm going to go now in the middle box. Two young cocks. Or is it a young cock? Yeah, it's the young side cock. So far, this is what you've got to do, that's why I reintroduced the older cocks when they just, just started on the last flight. So we don't want any flight damage before the racing season starts. There you go. He's got a feather in his mouth there. But that pied will be back up there, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this pied cock now to go straight back up and have a go. There you go. 
so this is what it's about hierarchy you're introducing the young cocks into boxes so just get stuck getting used with the box only been in the boxes for two or three weeks since young cock so now all's good to come to into some condition now they just finishing off the malt like I say them young cocks in another three or four weeks they'll look like these older cocks will be in the same condition up on the last flights anyway I hope you've enjoyed a little look into the um, settling of the cocks in the boxes coming season. I've not decided yet when I'm going to pair these cocks up. Depends on my work schedule. Um, I do like to breed them as soon as I can. Um, so I have no qualm in pairing these up in December, taking around the young ones off them and taking them away and leaving them then on their own until I could bring them out in April to race. So I've no question, I've no um, problem with doing that and then again I've no problem in leaving them till the end of January before I pair them up. It all depends at the time, my work schedule and how busy I am at work because once you pair them up you have, you have to have your full attention twice a day at least. So up to now, apart from this mid cock in the bottom middle box He's in the now he's coming out. You know, you know I mean he knows what you've got to watch. These old cocks don't dominate two boxes. But the younger cocks are a little bit timid. They'll end up staying on the floor. So if I notice that what I do do is I will lock that middle box with the young cock in it. So I'll leave the young cock in that middle box. So he has picked it, but he might be doing a little bit timid against this two-year-old. There. So I might just put the young cock in, close the box, so the two year old, when he tries to go in he can't get in and he'll go back to his own box and that's his box there it's going to now, that's his box at the bottom left. So that's what you've got to do, you've got to spend a bit of time, you don't want any unnecessary fighting. We don't want damaged flights, like I said earlier. It's all about managing them and um, setting up the right way. So, like I say, these three, two-year-olds now, and now he's in his right box. That's his box. That's where he was last year. That's where he bred two young birds. But sometimes, because these are younger males, you'll get the odd dominant older male who'll try and take a couple of boxes. Like I've just said, if that starts to happen, I'll lock the young bo cock in his box there, so the older male can't go in it. And he'll just get, keep getting used to. A little bit excited because they've not been in this loft since last year, they've only just put them in. So, but it's all coming back now, they're calling the ends. Them older cocks now, are, they're calling for them ends, they know that's his box, and now he's looking for his end. But I'm afraid it's a little bit off yet, they're pairing up for me. So you can hear them calling. That's the older males that are calling for the end now. So it's all about routine from now on. Well it is the same 365 days a year to be honest, but coming into breeding and racing, more routine. The same routine day in day out. Got a young cop there challenging a two year old on the floor, which is what I like to see. Got the young cop there doing the fighting and chasing the two year old male. He just, he just sent him back up to his box packing, so that's the young bird to keep an eye on. So, it's the little things that you've got to notice in your own pigeons. It's only you, the loft, you're the manager, these are your players. And you've got to um, watch for everything, the character of the pigeon, and, and I plan by only having a, a small team of 
widowed males, I know each, I get to know each pigeon. But when you've got 20 and 30, I find it hard. Well, I don't think I could get to know each pigeon with that many, just because of my work commitment. She had to be there all day, fair enough. But for me, I'll know exactly what the each cock character is like before I start racing them in April. I know how, what, how much to feed them. He might want a little bit more, he might want, the next one might want a little bit less, the, the next one might perform better if he's fed this or that. But I will go into feeding the Widowwood males prior to pairing them. I'll show you, at the minute they're still on a full malting mix. So they're just getting a malting mi mix once a day, as much as they want to eat. But once I come to start pairing them up, then I start changing the mixture for the coming season. First for the breeding of the two young birds in these boxes, to bond them to that box. And then once the young birds leave, then they'll be on to the, the racing mixtures. But I will be doing up and coming videos about that. So anyway, it's just a short video, just to show you. That's my race team, Widowwood Males for 2022. Thanks for just dropping by and tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. I will show them again in a couple more weeks once they've settled properly into the boxes and they finish them up. And you'll see the condition just before I pair them up. And hopefully one or two of you might get a few tips. Or if you um, think I'm doing something wrong, you can comment in the section below and tell me what you think or how you do it or how you feed them. But as of now, like I say, these three-year-old cocks, they've only been in the loft for 20 minutes and everything's settled. No fighting. There was one or two little scuffles, but nothing aggressive. So, the young cock there, he's gone into the wrong box because there's a two-year-old sat in his box at the bottom. I'm in the middle there. again. He's a two-year-old male, so I'm waiting for that this young male on the floor to come and take control and take his box back off him. But anyway, we'll see how it goes, and I'll keep you informed. Thanks for uh, dropping by, like I said before. Don't forget to like, comment, let me know your thoughts, and subscribe. Thank you very much. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. 